so this is oracle directory service manager url where this is my host name 7005 is my managed server port number where odsm and dip managed servers are running so odsm which is oracle directory services manager is a graphical user interface to access my oracle internet directory so if i hit host name port number which is 7005 forward slash odsm and this is the screen i get so i click on connect to the directory now here i've already connected in past that's why you see oid oid if you have installed it new you will see you will not see this option and you will see create a new connection so you click on create a new connection now i'll select whether i want to connect to oid or ovd since i'm connecting to oid i'll pick up option oid and type a name which i can remember so i'll say oid for k21 machine my server name is iam dot k21 technologies.com the port number is my oid port number so if you don't know what is your oid port number you can start the terminal and i'm in my case i'm setting my environment variable and let's see if my instance is set which is my oid instance so i'll say which opmn opmn is opmn is the command to start stop or manage oid so opmn ctl status minus l and in my case this is my oid come output and in in this case ldap server is listening on 3060 so my oid is listening on ldap 3060 and secure port 3131 so I'm going to select here or type here my port number as 3060. If I select SSL enabled, then I should use port number 3131, which is LDAPS. Username is CN is equal to ORCL admin, and this is the user ID which you create during configuration of OID. So I enter password of my OID of this user CN is equal to ORCL admin and click connect and this is now i'm in odsm interface and i'm managing oracle internet directory so i click on data browser and this is where my oid in tree like structure or data tree for oid so if you see during configuration of oid i selected realm as dc is equal to com comma dc is equal to k21 technologies so I created this realm, which is DC is equal to K21 technologies, comma DC is equal to com during configuration of OID. And this is where my users for OID are available. So if I need to create a user, I can either select one of the existing user and say create like by clicking on this. Or I can I can right click on an existing user and say create like so say create like and these are my object classes I'll cover or will cover in subsequent section what an object class is but for now leave the default object classes and say parent of the entry which means the user I'm going to create is going to be created under this structure which is CN is equal to users comma DC is equal to K21 technologies comma DC is equal to com click next and now here I'm giving common name CN surname Kumar and relative distinguished name is CN which is my container so my distinguished name which is DN which is a full name or uniquely identifiable name is CN is equal to Atul comma CN is equal to users comma DC is equal to K21 technologies comma DC is equal to com so I say next and now I'm setting up my given name, which is going to be Atul. Email address I'll change again to Atul. Active start date, which means I'm going to start on this date. ORCL is enabled, which means is this user enabled in OID. My SAM account name, which is mainly for Active Directory. My UID, this is important. So if you integrate your Oracle Access Manager with Oracle Internet Directory, 
you specify the login attribute in Oracle Access Manager. That login attribute you usually give UID, which means the user ID which you provide in Oracle Access Manager is going to be compared with this UID here and this password here. Attribute user password. Click next and now click finish to finish creating this user. I can go back so I can go back here and search for this user Atul which I created just now. So this is my distinguished name. So if I have to log into OID I'm going to use this user ID. The way I have used CN is equal to ORC admin earlier I'm going to use this ID. So let's suppose I log out from here and I try logging into OID again and I would like to use this user ID which I've created just now. So I'll say username my full DN which is not copied so I'll type here CN is equal to Atul comma CN is equal to users comma DC is equal to K21 technologies yeah password is the password I entered during logon and now if you see I can log in as CN is equal to Atul comma CN is equal to users comma DC is equal to K21 technologies comma DC is equal to com so this is my full DN this is my distinguished name using which I can log into ODSM and query so I'll not have write permissions because I've created a user simple user but I'll have a read permission so if I try to let's suppose delete this OU I won't be able to do because I don't me as a Atul doesn't have permission to delete so I said delete and say yes and I'll get a message saying I don't have permission so insufficient access right so this is ODSM to manage OID just on quick note some of the configurations of OID are also stored within OID so if you see CN is equal to sub config sub entry inside that there is a CN is equal to OSD LWD inside that OID one so some of the OID configurations are also stored within OID like maximum max CC or my instance name as AS inst underscore one the OID component name is OID one the port number which I've configured is also so some of the other parameters like debug info or dispatcher threads these are also defined here host name is localhost and the SSL no SSL port is 3060 so those configurations are also stored here